that complicated. There is uh, a, a lot of this, of course, is on uh, automatic pilot. You get from one location to the other by going from point to uh, point. Mm -hmm. to point. You, you disengage that automatic pilot, then you do, uh, do the aiming. Uh, yes, it takes some training, but uh, I'm told it doesn't take that much to, uh, to be able to steer the aircraft. Yeah. All right, Bill Henshaw, Ray Kelly, thank you very much for joining us this evening. Thank you. Thank you. The effort to identify the hijackers has led investigators to Florida, where they are questioning people and executing search warrants. CNN's Susan Candiotti is in Vero Beach, Florida, with that part of the story. Susan? Hello, Greta. Indeed, the, the FBI here in Florida had a very, very busy day indeed. We'll try to give you the highlights of what happened here this day and in other locations as well. First, we can report to you that the FBI indeed has leads on suspected hijackers that were involved in this terrorist attack. They are still uh, hijackers who attended flight schools here in Florida. And at this hour, the FBI continues to look at other flight schools here in Florida. Law enforcement sources say that two of the suspected hijackers, at least two of them, lived here in Vero Beach. Uh, two of them are brothers that lived here. One of them lived on this very street. Both are described as Saudi citizens. One of them is Adnan Bukhari. Adnan Bukhari, we have a photograph of him. He is said to be in his 40s. He is described as a commercial pilot for Saudi Arabian Airlines. Also living in Vero Beach, Bakari's brother Amir, both lived here with their wives and children. Now, this afternoon, we also had a chance to go inside one of their rented homes. This is the one rented by Adnan Bukhari. It was searched this day by the FBI. And according to documents left behind by agents, they seized a number of items, including a computer, computer software, U.S. immigration papers, bank receipts, phone cards, a flight safety bag. We also saw a pilot certificate, as well as the, a certificate that they had received specialized instruction on multi-engine planes. These pilots, we are told by law enforcement sources, attended Flight Safety International, a flight school here in Vero Beach. Law enforcement sources also tell CNN that the Bukhari brothers were, were believed to have been on uh, one of the two flights out of Boston, one of those two flights that wound up slamming into the World Trade Center. Also, we can report to you that a car impounded in Portland, Maine, according to law enforcement authorities, was rented at Boston Logan Airport and driven to Portland, Maine. Now, the Maine State Police confirmed that two of the suspected hijackers were on a U.S. air flight out of Logan Airport, again, one of the two planes that crashed into the World Trade Center. The FBI also looking at two more suspected hijackers uh, who spent some time both in Venice, Florida, as well as Coral Springs, Florida, which is located in the south. Uh, the two are Mohammed Atta and Marwan Youssef al Shahi. Now, they stayed for a few days at the home of Charlie Voss in Venice, Florida, and uh, they took courses at Hoffman Aviation. Uh, these people both had passports from the United Arab Republic. And finally, we can tell you that at this hour at FBI headquarters in Miami, the FBI is interviewing uh, someone they described as a witness or friend or associate of the suspected hijackers. Back to you, Greta. Susan Candiati, thank you very much.